guys, if you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs. So if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. The day is finally here, you guys. Today, I get my keys to move into my new apartment. If you guys are new here, let me sit you guys down and kind of explain what's going on. I am 24 years old, moving into my new apartment, living alone for the first time ever, but I won't actually be fully living at that new apartment until August 1st. My Wi-Fi starts there on August 1st. So I have two roommates right now, and the Wi-Fi that we have for this apartment is actually under my name, and they just pay me every month. So... I still have my apartment here for the rest of July and so I figured since Wi-Fi will already be working here and it won't work at my new place until August 1st, here's what I'm gonna do. Today I'm going to get the keys and just make sure that like I have the place and that like, oh my god, you guys will see it. I'm going to film an empty apartment tour which will be a whole separate video for you guys that will be up before this one. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch that. I'll link it below. I have the Fright Elevator reserved for tomorrow and so what I'm gonna do is my boyfriend Thomas and I, we're gonna move my bed, my mattress, and maybe my entertainment stand because those are like the, really the only heavy things I'm moving from this apartment to my other one. And I'm gonna spend my nights at my new apartment but I'm gonna work here and spend my day and eat and everything at my current apartment here right now so I feel like this is probably a little bit different from all of the other moving vlogs out there just because I purposefully wanted to have a good amount of overlap for my new apartment just because I want to have the ease of moving things kind of on my own not feel like I have to do it all in one day or all in one weekend even I have three weeks to move everything luckily I got my last stimulus check a couple weeks ago so the overlap in rent actually didn't really make a difference for me and I was lucky enough also to get two months of free rent at my new apartment. That's just a little intro of what the deal is with the moving situation but this is the first moving vlog and in this vlog I will be moving my bed and everything and getting my keys and just showing you everything a little bit before too of stuff I have to do before I get the keys which is actually what I need to do right now. I need to go to the bank and get a cashier's check because for some reason my apartment just required the first rent and all of my first expenses to be in the form of cashier's check. So I have to go to the bank and do that. Luckily I can walk to it and, and then we'll go over to my new apartment and get my keys and then I'll show you guys my place. I'm doing all this alone today. But I have you guys here, so I'm not fully alone. At least I don't feel like it. And I'm happy to take you guys along at my very first moving vlog. <laughs> I'm actually in the middle of my work day right now. It's the morning and I blocked off time in my work calendar to go ahead and do all of these errands and get my keys and stuff. So I logged on early for the sake of doing this. And yeah, it's time to go get my keys and my cashier's check and let's go. <laughs> Up in the back seat, driving to you on the back streets. All the other ones are asking, but I don't give a fuck, they nasty. I'm just trying to find you, cause I don't got no ties. We're running out of time, so I'll be home tonight. Okay, hi guys, I got my money order, or no, it's not a money order, it's a cashier's check. If you guys saw my last vlog, then you know what I had to do before this, but this was the last thing. So, now we're gonna head over to my new apartment, hand this over, get the keys, and then go to my new place. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am in my apartment, oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. You guys will know more details in the empty apartment tour, so again, go ahead and watch that if you haven't already. But this place is 574 square feet. I told myself when I was looking for places that I just wanted something that was above 
550 square feet and this is 574 so it's definitely small for more than one person but for one person I think 574 is more than enough and oh my god they must do this for all of their new tenants but I think this is so sweet so we have a throw blanket vanilla wafers sun chips Mike and Ike's we have a coffee tumbler, my first round of paper towels, a hand towel, bottled water, a key ring, cause you know, pandemic. And then we just have little mini things of laundry detergent and dish soap. Wow, that's so nice. And oh my gosh. You guys, I just can't believe that this place is mine. This is like actually crazy. Like actually so crazy. So these are my two windows and here is my new view. Definitely not as good as my last place, but you know, I honestly can't complain. I feel like this place has pretty good like direct sunlight, at least in the living room. So it's around 11, 15 a.m. and here's what I look like. <laughs> and another thing that's really cool about the fridge, I can't believe this is all of my fridge space. That's actually crazy, but there's filtered water. Isn't that cool? <laughs> And then we have the sliding door for the bedroom. This is what makes the bedroom like a junior one bed and not an actual one bedroom. It was just a little bit cheaper to have the sliding door, but since it's just me, I can't complain. So as you can see, there's not as good lighting, but at least there's a window. It's just not to like the outside world. It's pretty dark in here, so I just need to like figure out how to light everything and I just need to like furnish my place honestly in my other apartment you guys a lot of that stuff wasn't mine the bar stools were mine but in the living room like none of that was mine the only thing that was mine was the entertainment stand and the coffee table and the tv and the mirror so I'm gonna sell the coffee table but I'm gonna keep the tv and the entertainment stand and everything else like we have to furnish so gotta get on that but here's my place how do you guys like it you guys this is my place. Whoa. <laughs> Another thing that I think is gonna be a pretty big challenge, but I'll have a better idea when I get my couch and everything. My couch is supposed to come, I think, in the next two weeks, but I need to figure out like a, a kitchen island counter something situation because if you guys can see, since this is a small place, there's really not that much counter space. We just have this area, which like my knives and like cooking stuff will go here, but there's really not that much. Luckily, I got the unit that has the built-in desk. So I'm actually gonna use this as like a coffee nook. I'm thinking like one half will be the coffee nook and maybe the other half will be like a bar so that I don't need a bar cart, but we'll see how this works. So yeah, there's just lots to figure out, but at least I got the keys today. Unfortunately, that's kind of the only thing that we're doing today on Thursday because I took PTO tomorrow to move everything, so. I'll see you guys tomorrow, but for now, welcome to my new place. I'm thinking also to make this like a very industrial, modern, minimal type of apartment, like restoration hardware dupes, watching lots of DIY with KB. So we'll see how that goes, but I just feel like this is the start of a whole new journey for me and I can't wait to take you guys along and hang out with you guys for all of it all. <laughs> I'm just so excited, it'll be so cool. And, oh my gosh, wait, last thing before I go. Whoa, my bathroom, look at how huge this mirror is. It's so freaking big and just like my getting ready area and like everything will be so nice in this in this bathroom. So that's it for today. I might go to Home Goods after work today or something, we'll see, but I really need to take measurements of everything so I can figure out how long of a shower curtain I need and just like, I need a shower curtain, so. But yeah, I just wanted to come see the place with you guys and get the keys together. So I will talk to you guys either tomorrow or after work. How are you doing today? Doing good. Yeah, she remember what the mm-hmm. What is the um, return policy, just in case I change my mind? Hi guys, it's six o'clock right now. I went to Home Goods and World Market right after I got off work today and we did get some things, but I'm not sure if, oh my God, someone's watching me. <laughs> I did get some things for my bathroom because that's really the only stuff I need like immediately, but we still have until tomorrow. I'm still sleeping in my old apartment tonight. So it's not like too, too urgent, but I did get just like a soap dispenser and 
a canister and then a shower caddy and a shower liner. I didn't find a shower curtain that I liked, but that's just because like I can't decide on like the design. So we'll see. We're gonna go to Target and see if there's anything. I just wanna browse. I don't think I'm gonna get anything, but we'll see. Hi guys, it is actually the next day right now. It's Friday morning and I came to the new apartment to drop off some stuff, but I figured I'd just show you guys everything that I got from Home Goods and Target. So here's just a mini haul for you guys. My very first one for the apartment. I got these two hand towels for Target that I'm gonna keep in the bathroom. So I got those. This is from Home Goods. I just got a shower curtain liner. I got the super heavyweight Eco Lux Home Piva liner. So I was going back and forth between the actual plastic one and then this like, like this kind. So I went with this one. It was the same price. It was only six dollars. And then this is the shower curtain that I got. I was oh my god, you guys! I was at Home Goods and Target for like an hour looking at like three different shower curtains and I didn't love any of them. I think that's why I couldn't decide. But then I saw this one and I fell in love with it. This is the one from the Opal House collection in Target. And I love that it's like the slightest bit of dark green, but it looks black. So I just think this will look so cool in the bathroom. But another reason why I was there for so long was because I couldn't decide what bath mats to get. Like, I don't know if I should do white ones or dark ones or gray. I don't know. But at least I found the shower curtain, so that's good. And then the last thing from Target I got were these black shower hooks. So I think I'll be able to set up my shower today. And then from Home Goods, I got the shower curtain and then I got this. I want to see how this looks. This is called the Soft Touch Canister. And it's like, if you guys can see, it's kind of like this matte black and it just feels very like smooth. So I got this. Like you guys saw in my apartment tour video, I want the bathroom to be as minimal as possible. So I'm thinking in terms of the countertop, I'll have like a small vase with some flowers, like fake flowers, and then this. This is where I think I'm gonna put all of my floss, but I'm gonna keep the price tag just in case. I want to return it, but I just kind of want to see how it looks. I just think it looks so nice and sleek. Oh my God, I don't know. And then to match the canister, I got a soap dispenser. And this is the one that I think I'm going to keep in the kitchen area because I have a bunch of hand soaps for the bathroom that are like from Bath and Body Works. But I think overall, I just want the accents of this apartment to be black. So I'll have like, like I said, black, white, the ash gray, and then maybe like ever so slight touches of green. So this is what I'm gonna use for my soap dispenser, at least for dish soap in the kitchen. And then the last thing I got from Home Goods is this shower caddy. Again, I wanted like a black matte accent, but we'll see how this looks. I, for some reason, I'm like nervous this isn't gonna fit in the shower, so we'll see, but this is the last thing. So we'll test all of those out. I like everything that I got so far. I was focusing on the bathroom and I just want to be really intentional with everything that I get for this place just because it's such a small space. My first space where everything's my own, so I want everything to be nice and intentional and minimal, as minimal as possible. Okay, first I think I'm going to do the peach bellini as my first hand soap of the bathroom. So let's, let's move over to the bathroom and bring all this stuff. We're going to put the soap there this canister right here, and then a vase will go right here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. This is the rod that goes right above my toilet, so we'll have these here. And then let's see about this shower caddy. works well because when the shower is on the water like it doesn't touch this so I think that this actually works really well and I think it looks really nice cool 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 there nice see the black and the black okay <laughs> This is so pretty. What do you guys think? I'm literally obsessed with it. 
if you guys look closely, it's actually a dark green color, but from far away it looks black and that is exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, it's so, it's so cute. I talked to Catherine the whole time too, just because I hadn't talked to her in a while and so we were catching up and yeah, it was really nice. I can't wait for you guys to see Catherine. Like, I don't think she's ever been in a video. What the heck? She's my best friend. She's never been in a video, but you guys will see her soon. Wow. Love the bathroom. I'm thinking honestly also about putting the hand soaps in the bathroom here. So here's how it looks right now. But if I remove this and put this here, like that just kind of, that just kind of makes more sense to me. Not 100% sure, we'll see. Now I really gotta go home and finish the thumbnail for the empty apartment tour and then I'll talk to you guys soon. But, oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> Hi guys, it is now, okay, what time is it? It's 11.19, I just finished watching my empty apartment video on Premiere and Thomas is here now. Say hi. Hi, I'm putting <laughs> these thick eye drops. So <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start moving stuff. I have the loading dock at my current apartment right now for the next 45 minutes or so, and then we have to move it over to the loading dock at my new apartment, but we're not moving much, like I said. It's really just like my bed stuff and my entertainment stand. That's kind of it. I did wanna show you guys though, I got this. Um, I got two things from Amazon in preparations for this quick little move, but I got this like, heavy duty saran wrap so that none of my corners and any of my furniture gets like too nicked or anything. And then I got this queen size mattress cover so that nothing gets dirty and that we can kind of just move it up. So we're gonna do that now. I texted Jay that we're ready. So I think we just have to take off everything from my bed here and then put the mattress cover on, take off the legs of my bed frame and then, and then yeah, let's start. This doesn't fit in my car, I don't know why I thought it would, but we're just gonna have to, I guess, manually transport my mattress to my new place. But the only like actual big thing that is too heavy to move by hand is the entertainment stand. So Thomas and Jay are getting that now, and I have my car here at the loading dock, and Thomas is calling me. Hello? Or the door, yeah, I'm coming. Okay, bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, my back. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Yeah, it looks good. You need a, you need a Mr. Clean Eraser to scrub it all, too. Uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. I need to clean it. Okay, we are back at the apartment. We moved all of the big stuff. Let me show you guys how everything's looking. Here's what the bedroom looks like with my queen mattress in it. As you can see, there's really just not much space. I just need two nightstands and then I'll probably put like a dresser or something there, but that's really it for the bedroom. And then like lights. And then my standing desk will go against this wall. Entertainment stand and TV will go here. And then when my couch arrives, I think it'll arrive in like two weeks, it'll be where Jay's standing. So then with a coffee table and everything, I feel like I can get a small counter height table or something and put it like right there, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, well, we're gonna take a break. Well, I didn't really do much. I'm, I'm gonna take Jay and Thomas out to lunch now to thank them for moving everything, but that's the extent of everything. Oh my gosh.
guys, it is, what time is it, Thomas? It's late, I don't know. It's late, it's like, I think it's like 10 something. Thomas is, he's rebuilding my bed frame. <laughs> Thanks for doing it. I should get paid, right? Yeah, you should get paid. I'll pay you. <laughs> we went to Target and Home Goods and got a couple of things. So I want to show you guys. I'm focusing on one room at a time. So let me, let's just go to the bathroom. First off, we got these two bath mats from Target because we just can't decide which one would look better. I already know I like the gray better. Really? I just feel like it doesn't go. Uh, okay. So. The only thing about the white one is that it definitely gets dirty fast, but... It's machine washable, so what? I think the white. What's the vibe? I think the white. It's the white? Yeah. Really? I, I just don't think I this goes. I was almost so sure. I think it actually brings out, like, because this is a little dull. So this is actually helping. I, think. I don't know. We're going to sleep on it, and I kept the receipt, so. Oh, we have to, you definitely have to return one. At least, like, this is the memory foam one. It's from Threshold, and it's upside down, but this is the Threshold Memory Foam Performance Texture Bath Rug. And I think they just look a lot better than the ones that are really furry. So. It's situational. Mm -hmm. How do you feel stepping out onto this? I mean, if I'm washing the bottom of my feet, <laughs> then it's clean. It'll really ensure that I'm washing the bottom of my feet. Washing okay. My shorts That's the first thing that we got. And then from Home Goods, I picked up a black trash bin. I got some hand towels and ooh, this is what I'm really excited about. Go ahead and let me know which color you like better, the gray or the white. I think I like the white more. Thomas likes the gray. I like the white. But this is the other thing that I got from Home Goods. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't this so pretty? This is gonna go on my bathroom, and I think I'm gonna do no fake plant anymore and just do this tray. And let's just see how it looks, but here's what I'm thinking. Ew. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Thomas, you were right about the soap. But I like the tray, I think the tray is worth oh, keeping you, though. You have, a, you have a toothbrush that stands up, so you can just stick it up, it's no problem. That's true, yeah, I'll just put it behind it. No, I like, I like that though, just because if your hands are wet and you like pump on the thing, it wouldn't get on, oh, well, it'll probably still get on the counter, but it would be on the tray, not the counter. I just think it's a nice decorative touch because it adds a slight bit of color. Oh, he left. He left. It adds like the slightest bit of color and it kind of matches that. So I'm going to keep it. I think it's really cute and it's very unique. We got some spindrifts. These are the best flavors, I think. The lemon. This is my old roommate, MB. This is like her favorite thing. She's the one that actually introduced me to spindrift and now they're just like the best seltzers ever. And then we also have raspberry lime. But oh, that's fast. Okay, let's do this. Finally put this together, take off the mattress cover. If you guys are moving, I seriously highly recommend getting a mattress cover because you thought that this was really helpful, wasn't it? Oh, it made it easier because you can drag it on carpet without... It was like easy to, to drag. And, and take the sheets off. Yeah, and you didn't have to take the sheets off. Okay, so let's put this together. So cool you guys because in my old apartment there was no space on like I had my bed in the corner but since this room is so small it only makes sense to make it symmetrical so there's actually space on both sides of the bed if you guys were curious this bed frame is from Amazon it's from the Zionist collection and it's the higher platform bed frame it's really really good I highly recommend it and it was like 70 bucks or something it was something really cheap it's a really small bedroom but Honestly, it's bigger than I expected. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Oh. You okay? Oh. I just hit Thomas. Come here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're actually so hungry because we haven't eaten since we ate. I think we're gonna do our dash food. I 
mother would kiss me goodnight and tuck me in And we would pray together I recall a day A stranger had told me to not let my smile fade When the world was prettier Oh, my innocence is gone Hi guys, it is what day is it? It is actually Saturday evening right now. It's around seven, eight o'clock. I've had a whole day. I'm like all done up. My makeup and my hair is all redone because earlier today, Thomas and I went to our friend Chris and Vivian's proposal. I'll insert the clips for you guys here, but it was so cool. Chris got lion dancers and they danced for her as he was proposing to her. And then they had this scroll that said, Vivian, will you marry me? And it was just so amazing. I think it was one of the most unique proposals I had ever seen. It was so cool. But that's what we did earlier in the day and now it's 8 p.m. <laughs> Thomas and I are honestly so tired, but we had to go to Giant to get some heavy duty Swiffer pads. So we wet Swiffered the whole apartment. And if you guys are moving into any new places, whether that's a new house or a new apartment or even a brand new apartment complex like this one, I would definitely recommend you just do a whole clean sweep of your living room and bathroom and just any floors just clean everything the moment that you move in because honestly our feet were pretty dirty when we had first moved everything in so we just cleaned the floors and then what you guys just saw was me unboxing this lap desk and it's so cool this company had reached out to me and they wanted to send me their cooper mega table this is actually like a bestseller on amazon if you guys didn't know and it is so so nice you guys know how i feel about having a separate work and personal station so I always do work on my desk no matter what but I figured especially this is kind of the perfect time to have a lap desk because especially when I'm editing in my bed it'd be nice to have a lap desk and for the sake of not having any furniture right now this lap desk is actually going to come in handy a lot so I'm really excited that they sent this over. This lap desk is actually so cool too because you can lay it flat and put the legs in so that's really cool and there's two separate compartments on the side one for a mug and your phone and then the one on the other side has a book stand that you can either attach to the front of the lap desk or you can just use it and stand it on its own so i think it's really cool this thing is so huge and i'm pretty sure it holds laptops up to 17 inches which is so big so i'm really excited to have this i've never had like a nice lap desk before so it'll come in handy as i'm waiting for all my furniture to come in and i need something to like place stuff on so i just wanted to show you guys this i thought it was really cool and thank you so much to tablet to cases for sending over this lap desk this honestly really could not have come at a better time and i'm really excited i'll link it in the description box for you guys if you're interested in getting a good lap desk again this is an amazon bestseller so that has to mean something. I think that's pretty reliable. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this and this is kind of what I'm up to in terms of my first weekend moving. And I think that's honestly all we're gonna do today. We are really tired from the proposal and we haven't even eaten dinner yet. So I think Thomas and I are just gonna chill and sleep. At least we have the bedroom going. It was so nice, you guys, to sleep in this bed. It's just so nice to have both sides of the bed when I'm making my bed, it's so much easier to make my bed now. And I don't know, it's just the little things. It's like surreal to me that this is my place. It feels like a hotel, Thomas says, because there's like nothing in it yet. Okay, well, I think that's everything today. Thomas and I are gonna eat and just chill. I'll talk to you guys soon, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of my first weekend so far. This is my first, these are the first couple of days of us moving. Well, me, and he's helping, but he's not living with me. happy sunday oh my gosh i feel like this was a crazy weekend and honestly i don't think i'd be doing this much shopping this frequently like ever but i'm moving i'm focusing mainly on my bathroom and then I think after that, I'll probably focus on my bedroom, but let me show you guys what's going on with the bathroom. Okay, so you guys, I asked you guys on Instagram what I should do with the bath rugs, and you guys chose, and I agree, and my mom agrees, and even though Thomas doesn't agree, I agree. We are going to stick with the white bath rugs, because I just think that 
I know they will get dirty, but honestly, I'm a really clean person. So I don't really think I'll get them that dirty. And if I do get them any type of dirty, I can throw them in the laundry. So I just think that white looks nice and crisp and it makes the bathroom floor not look so dull and it makes the ash gray and the black. I just think it makes everything pop like the, you know, the gray just didn't make sense to me. So all in all, here is what we have going on with the bathroom and I just love what we have going on here with the tray. These are the towels that I'm going to keep. I returned the ones that I got from Target that matched the gray. So we're going to keep these ones from Home Goods. And honestly, this was such a better deal anyways. I think I got 10 of these for $10, whereas two of the white and gray ones that matched this was $7 each. So I think it makes the most sense to keep these. And we have black and white, the slightest touch of green right here. And and I think this is really nice. The only thing left here is I wanna get maybe like a black wire shower caddy thing to just store some more things if I need it. Also, you guys saw that I brought my plant over. Thomas helped me bring my plant over and you guys, it's so big. I don't know if it's gonna fit in this space because I want my standing desk to kind of go right here in between. So I don't know. Ugh, Justine, don't kill me. I feel like this plant might be too big for my little space. But at least for now, while I have nothing here, it looks really pretty. <laughs> so I'll keep it for now. And then when my couch and everything comes, then I'll figure out the plant situation. But I love this plant. It's just really big. And I don't know if it'll fit in my space, but look at how pretty. And then the last thing that I got today, which is the last of my spending today, is I got this accent rug, which will go right above the sink in the kitchen area. So the rug that I want to get for... The living room is like a white and gray. So I thought this would go really well because it's black, kind of like a contrast, but I think it goes really well and it's machine washable. And I just think it all, I think that goes well. What do you guys think? So yeah, that is the extent of our apartment spending this weekend. This is honestly the last thing that I'm gonna do this weekend. I'm just gonna put everything away and edit this video for the rest of today, but I guess I'll just go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me on my first couple of days of having my new apartment. You guys know that I have the rest of July to kind of figure everything out and I won't be working in this apartment until August 1st. So my hope is that everything's more or less done by August and that gives me a couple of weeks to do so, but we'll see. The couch should be coming on July 20th. So once that comes, I think everything else will just kind of go. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I feel like this is gonna be so long, but I hope you guys had fun. I just wanted to show you guys my first couple of days here and, and yeah, lots of Thomas helping me. Thank you, Jay, for helping moving stuff as well on Friday. And yeah, first weekend at the new apartment done. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.